multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, known as MEN1 syndrome in short form, is a hereditary condition characterized by the development of tumors in multiple endocrine glands. This syndrome primarily affects the parathyroid glands, pancreatic islets, and the anterior pituitary gland. MEN1 is caused by mutations in the MEN1 gene, which encodes a protein called menin that acts as a tumor suppressor. Parathyroid tumors, in particular hyperparathyroidism, is the most common feature, seen in about 95% of patients. It leads to hypercalcemia, which can cause kidney stones, bone pain, and fractures. The second category of tumors in MEN1 is pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, including gastrinomas that often lead to Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, causing peptic ulcers due to excessive gastric acid secretion. Insulinomas, which result in hypoglycemia due to excessive insulin production. Other pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors are glucagonomas, vipomas, and somatostatinomas, each causing specific symptoms based on the hormones secreted. And the third category of tumors in MEN1 is pituitary adenomas. Of this, prolactinomas are the most common pituitary tumor in MEN1, causing galactoria, amenorrhea, and infertility. Growth hormones secreting tumors can lead to acromegaly. Other types are adrenocorticotropic hormones secreting tumors that causes Cushing's disease and non-functioning pituitary adenomas. MEN1 is inherited in an autosomal dominant manner. Individuals with one copy of the mutated MEN1 gene will develop the syndrome, and there is a 50% chance of passing the mutation to offspring. To diagnose MEN1 syndrome, Biochemical tests are done to assess hormone levels including calcium, parathyroid hormone, gastrin, and insulin. Imaging studies such as MRI, CT scans, and endoscopic ultrasound for tumor localization. MEN1 gene mutation analysis is a confirmatory test for diagnosis and family screening. There are several treatment options to manage MEN1 syndrome. For parathyroid tumors, parathyroidectomy is often necessary. For pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, surgical excision depending on the type and location of the tumor is preferred. Medical management include proton pump inhibitors for gastrinomas, diazoxide for insulinomas. For pituitary adenomas, medical therapy include dopamine agonists for prolactinomas and somatostatin analogs for growth hormone secreting tumors. Surgery may be required for large or non-responsive tumors. Regular monitoring for the development of new tumors and complications through periodic biochemical testing and imaging should be done. The prognosis for MEN1 varies based on the types of tumors present and their respective complications. Early diagnosis and regular monitoring are crucial for managing the condition effectively and improving the quality of life for affected individuals. Given the hereditary nature of MEN1, Genetic counseling is recommended for affected individuals and their families to understand the risks, implications, and options for family planning and early intervention. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Stay tuned for our next video.